Need to find a gun operator. Oh, hello. Who are you? Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. You want to park? So I got a choice. Gotta get upstairs somehow. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. Was she hot? beautiful. Carefree, oh, yes, she was. Love to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. <laughs> you said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? 
her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Hmm. This autopsy report, once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Oh my god. Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive to justify any complications that might arise. I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything. Yeah, it wasn't too bad asking about it for a reward. All right, I'll take it. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Oh, that was a whole lot of talking. Wow. All right. Check the pod first. Let's do that. That's close by. Okay, there we are. How do I check the pod? What? Oh, my bad. <laughs> They're right there. Eh. Come on. All right. That was useless. Was to Gotta go back out again. Damn it. S2 is my destination. At least I'll be hitting a limb clinic. Hello. Check. Make sure no one's around. Do a little hack. That's not too bad. What the? Oh, it didn't go. All right. Access grant. Open up Buttercup. Ooh, a safe, which means moolah, which means maybe I can do another side mission. So many Kindles. Hopefully that guy stays there. That's fine. Access grant. Oh, 
1,000 chips. Yes, that gets me closer to my ooh, more. Tell Tong your firewall sucks to be a login. R B B T hole. <laughs> R B B T hole. Enter. Whoops. Okay, now how do I? Oh. That was so useless. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay. Why would I hack an alarm panel? How much money I got? I got just under 4,500. Almost there. Okay. I feel like the only place to work around here is the Like I said, it's nice to know where the actual limb clinic is in this place. Now I just find a weapon smith or something, and then we be golden. Excuse me, do you know where the limb clinic is? You're referring to the Panchea Project, the cooperative global Excuse initiative. Me, sir. That do you know how to get back to my young mentee? Sure, Gordon. And it's time. You're happy to give you my Huh. I was hoping maybe that would be a, a sign for back alley weapons. <laughs> Should take him down. Tempting. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Let's be professional here, definitely. I can be impatient. Oh, uh, wow. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Meeting in back alley. Not good. Uh, another loading screen. Come on. Run faster. Here. Come on now. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, though not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for. I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? I'm not paying that. Screw that. A little piece of advice. When attempting to extort money from someone, 
Don't give them what they want before trying to rip them off. What? What? You... you mean you aren't going to pay? But I risked everything to get you that file! Chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. You... you... you scoundrel! You'll regret this... someday. You just... you just mock my words! See you later, X.